Here's Bloodhound with the hype unit, and with the release of the Battlefield 5 closed alpha on PC, you might be wondering what exactly you can try out, and if you haven't gotten a key yet, how you can play. In order to access the Battlefield 5 closed alpha, you're going to need to make sure that your Origin account is linked with your email, and that EA has the ability to send you emails. If you don't have this enabled, you will not get a key. The keys given out by EA are completely random, so if one didn't land in your inbox, then you're just straight out of luck. However, a lot of community members and the Battlefield stream team are going to be giving out alpha codes for the next coming days, so if you still want to play the alpha, you can still have a fighting chance. There's no end date or NDA on the closed alpha either. As expected, the alpha is PC only just due to the fact that EA has control over the entire platform, so it's easier to roll out updates. Consoles have to go through certification with Sony and Microsoft, and alpha content is generally extremely difficult to get a pass. Don't worry, as consoles will still get to play the open beta later this year. With that being said, we're playing on the Narvik map, the same one from EA Play. The closed alpha build is more or less the same from the EA Play build, with some minute differences. For starters, this time around we get to play Standard Conquest alongside the first two days of the Grand Operations game mode. The snow effects have been turned down a bit, and spotting is a lot more frequent compared to EA Play. There's some progression and missions that you can work towards in the alpha like basic leveling and ranks. There's also missions going on where you can take on one special assignment to earn a Battlefield 5 dog tag, and numerous daily orders as well. The weapons available to us are pretty much the same from the EA Play build, and if you want to pause the video to read each and every weapon, you can. Vehicles are also the same as well, with the addition of squad reinforcements like the V1 rocket and the Sturm Tiger. If you have any feedback to give back to the developers, you can do so by leaving a post on the Battlefield 5 Alpha forums, and make sure to give valuable feedback and respect others. Don't mention obvious bugs and whatnot, as those are extremely likely to get fixed, and you can give your thoughts on the gameplay aspects like map design, balance, and more. DICE is really hoping to use this as an actual testing ground for feedback, rather than just letting you try out content early. I'll leave a link below to the closed alpha details, so if you want to see PC requirements and more information in much greater depth, you can check those out. And that about wraps up all the details for the Battlefield 5 closed alpha for you. If you have gotten your hands on a key, make sure to make the most of it, and if you enjoyed as well, you can consider subscribing here at the Hype Unit or to my personal channel as well. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the battlefield.